Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to save parts of your model out into a separate file so that you can reuse them later on. So a lot of times when I'm modeling kitchens or anything else, I create stuff, then I spend time making these things, objects, knobs, poles, cabinets, seating, that sort of thing that I'd want to reuse later. Now you can take an old model and you can copy paste stuff into a new model, but it's not the easiest process to do. A uh, better way to do it is to actually save out individual pieces of your model into a, fo a folder on your computer, and then you can pull those back into new models that you create really, really easily. So I'm going to show you how to save out a component. Then I'm going to show you how to create a component. So components and groups are a little different, and we'll talk about those in a minute here. Uh, right now I have a component that I've already made, and this is this rooster here. Uh, and I spent some time modeling the base and the peg, and I used a photo texture to make the body. And I want to reuse him again in different models for decoration. So since he's already a component, I can right or secondary click on him and click Save As. So I've made a folder on my desktop called Favorite Components. Uh, you can put a folder wherever you want. It doesn't have to be on your desktop. We'll save him here as Eclectic Rooster. And it's all done. So if we take a look at the desktop and go into that folder, we'll see we have the Eclectic Rooster saved in there. Now, the next step is to get this rooster bookmarked into SketchUp. Or more to the point, we want to get that folder called Favorite Components bookmarked in SketchUp. So that's really easy to do. You can open your Components window which I have over here. If you don't have your components window, you can get it by going to Window and selecting Components. So once you're here, there's a little arrow, right pointing arrow here, this is Details, and if we click that, we can say Open a Local Collection. And once we select that, we can go to where we save that folder. So in this case, that's on the desktop and it's called Favorite Components. So I'm just going to highlight the folder and click Open. And on a Mac, make sure you have checked off here, Add to Favorites. And now you can see our Eclectic Rooster is here. And I'll show you how to get to it. So if we do this pull down here, this is a list of all of the component collections that come with SketchUp. So we've got component sampler, architecture, landscape, that sort of thing. As you can see here, we have favorite components in here. So we'll just click on a different one here. And if I hit this pull down arrow and click favorite components, our eclectic rooster is in here. And what's really neat is if I click on the icon for the rooster once and hover my mouse pointer in SketchUp, we can bring the rooster in as many times as we want. So what's great is this folder of components is in your SketchUp. So when you make a new model, you can bring components that you've created from old models very easily into your new model. Let's do one more here just to show you how it works. I'm going to minimize the components window. And I'm going to take this computer here, which incidentally I got off of the 3D warehouse. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to click Save As. And we're already in that folder that we had on the desktop. We'll call this file MacBook and we'll click Save. So now when I go into Components and my favorite components folder, you'll see that this MacBook is also here as well. Sometimes if you save components in SketchUp, uh, they won't immediately show up in the Components browser. Uh, you just have to close SketchUp and reopen it and any components that you saved in there uh, will appear in that menu. Now let's quickly make a component here and I'll show you how to save it out. So I'm going to make a really quick cutting board here. So now I have this, this little model here that of uh, the cutting board that I made to make this into a component because a component is the only way that you can save out individual pieces in SketchUp. I simply click it three times to highlight the whole thing or I could draw a box around it, whatever works. If I right or secondary click on it, I can click Make Component. Now I've talked in the past about making groups to separate your geometry. Uh, making a group will not allow you to save it out individually. You have to make it a component. So I'll click Make Component, and a little box here uh, will show up, and 
you can set alignment and component axes. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Um, we're simply just going to call this one cutting board. You can put in a description if you want. You don't have to. And make sure that replace selection with component is checked. So we'll hit create. Now I can right click this, save as, and I'm already in my favorite components folder that I had made on the desktop, and I can save my cutting board in this folder. And when I restart SketchUp, that cutting board will be in this list of favorite components. And there it is. So this is a great way to reuse stuff that you make over and over again. We do this a lot um, with decorative components because you know we spend a little time making cutting boards and things like that to decorate and fill out a design. And while that's time well spent, because it makes the models look really good, certainly don't want to be doing that every single time we model a kitchen. So saving out these components can save you a lot of time.